so what's going on? Um, I guess I've had um, hip issues. Uh, okay. Mostly in my left hip for probably, I don't know, four or five years, and a little bit in my right, but um, kind of a range of motion mm -hmm. mostly, and then um, where it's kind of limited range of motion, and at the other side, um, sometimes if I go out of that range yeah. of motion or overuse it, uh -huh. I'll, uh, it gets like stiff and sore, kind of like a dull achiness. Okay. You know, kind of, you know, goes yeah. in and out a little bit. But And how long has this been going on? I would say <clears throat> four or five years, I think I first noticed it. I was in a, uh, I was uh, racing motocross. I got into a crash where I kind of like okay. put my foot down and a couple yeah. of bikes came on top of me, kind of like a. Uh, it's kind of in an awkward position for a bit, but okay. that's yep. when I kind of noticed it. Did you have a, a surgery? Did you have treatment for this, physical therapy, chiropractic? A, a little bit of physical therapy, okay. yeah, and um, with, I don't know, kind of varying mm -hmm. results. I kind of, my doctor yeah. kind of told me, like, we could do more, but you're, I don't know if we can help much, kind of, was, what he's, was kind of what he said. Okay. Is there anything that you're doing that has helped? Um, it seems like swimming. Like, if I swim, it kind of helps a lot, or... Um, okay. Sometimes I'll like, I don't know what it's called, the distraction, I guess, where I, yeah. that'll kind of help. Traction, decompression. Yeah. feels like if it gets like, I don't know if bound up's the right word. Okay. It seems like if I distract it. it can yeah. So you feel like you, you create some space inside the joint and it frees yeah. up for a little while yeah, and get you some like relief? Kind of like pulling out Okay, or good. Yeah. What are most of your symptoms? Um, kind of just right in the middle, I guess. It's hard to... So deep inside, not yeah. kind of on the surface, but more deep inside? Yeah. Okay. All right, um, so we're going to take you through a whole slew of movements, okay? We're, we're going to go all the way down the, the movement pattern rabbit holes and kind of see what pops up, all right? Okay. Um, anything else going on? I mean, any other surgical uh, history or? No. Um, right now, I've been having some little bit of right knee issue where. So left hip, right knee. Yeah, when I collapse that right knee completely, it kind of it, it's some, a sharp pain. Okay. All right, so um, just go ahead and face, step, step over here for a second. Um, just face me, feet together. All right, so I'm going to take you through a bunch of movements. Just kind of follow along with me. So you'll go chin to chest. Try and see if you can touch your chin all the way to your sternum. All right, so we've got a couple of fingers there. Look up the ceiling back as far as you can. Okay, and come forward. And turn your head to the left and turn right. Any pain with either of those? Nope. Okay, go ahead and face this wall and try and touch your opposite shoulder blade from below and then from above on both sides. Okay, can you get all the way over here? No. Nope. No? Okay. And how about the other side? Okay, that's harder? Um, I don't know about the same as hard. Okay, try, try, the, try the right side again. Like this? No, nope. from below. Okay, right side is actually a little harder. Yeah, probably. Okay, right side is a little harder. and I've, then take, I've taken a few kicks <clears> to <throat> the shoulder. Okay. Yeah, Reach up overhead. Uh, yep, go ahead and try and touch, try and touch here. Try and touch here? Yeah, just with the right. And now, go, now try the other side with the left. Okay. One side harder, easier? Uh, about the same? Yeah. Okay. All right. Face me again. And then feet together. And bend forward. Touch your toes. Anytime. Go ahead. Touch yeah. your toes. That's it? That's it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, where do you feel that? What's that? Where, where do you feel that? I feel like maybe I should say where don't you feel that? I feel it mostly like right in here, I guess. In the calves? In the calves, yeah. Okay. Uh, one more time. Do that again. All right, come on up. Just in the calves? Well, mostly, yeah. Okay, what else? Hamstrings a little bit? Maybe a little bit, yeah. Okay. I'd say it's mostly in the calves. All right, feet together. All right, bend backward as far uh, hands on the hips. Bend backward as far as you can. And how is that? Not bad? Not bad. Okay, good. Um, now I'm going to have you face that wall. Okay. All right, feet together. You're going to put your hands like this. All right, and I want you to twist your body to the right as far as you can. Okay, and the left as far as you can. One side harder, easier? It's about equal. About equal? Okay, back to the right again. And left. Okay, good. All right, so face me. Stand on one leg. Ten seconds. Other side. One side feel harder? Um, not really. No? I don't know. A little okay. <laughs> All right. Go back to the right side and close your eyes. 
It's a little harder when you close your eyes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Other side? So we only made it about, okay. Yeah. Okay. So about three or four seconds uh, with eyes closed, single leg stance. So hands straight out. Keep your heels on the ground. Squat as low as you can. Squat as low as I can. That's it? Yep. Okay. All right, come on up. <laughs> All right. There are several things that we could work on. Okay. There are a few really big things that we're going to start out with, okay? okay. Um, so I think the, the first thing really for me is your, is your shoulder mobility piece, okay? We'll go ahead and take you through the shoulder mobility piece. Um, we'll take a look at your thoracic spine mobility. And then I think today it would be worthwhile taking a look at your multi-segmental flexion sequence as well as um, single leg stance. Okay, so we'll, we'll kind of uh, work through those and we'll see what pops up. So for the first thing we're going to do as far as your shoulder mobility, um, we're going to have you go into a child's pose position. So you're going to kneel down here, sit down on your heels, on your forearms, you'll put your hand behind your back and rotate up as high as you can. All right, so sit down on your heels. Down on my heels? Yep, and then... And then go ahead and drop down. So does it hurt on your knees? Um, like so right, come, come right off now's, your... Right now it's all right, but okay. like just that certain spot. Okay. So come all the way down on your forearms. Okay. Put your left hand behind your low back. And I'm going to make sure that you don't cheat here. So now rotate up as high as you can to the left. Nope. Your whole body. Whole body. Okay. Rotate up as high as you can. Good. Relax. All the way down. I'm going to help you this time. So there's a little more if I help you. We'll go to the other side. Same thing. Okay, rotate up. Okay, good. And down. And, ooh, that side's tighter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, thoracic spine, right rotation, <clears throat> much more stiff. Also motor control issue on both sides. Um, so that will definitely be something we, we want to work on. Um, so as far as, your, as far as your hip and your knee go, we're not going to continue to unwind the, the shoulder piece of this. We've got the thoracic piece. I think that's enough for now. We can take a look at the shoulder later, but with pain in the hip and the knee, um, we'll, um, that's one really good data point that will kind of help us along with that. But we'll move on to some other things now. All right, go ahead and lay down all the way down on your back. And now keep both legs straight, completely flat and straight. Keep both legs completely flat against the, the, the box there. Raise this leg up as high as you can. Keep this leg down. That's as, you, as high as you can get it. Okay. All right. And then try the other one. Okay. That one quite a bit higher. All right. Relax. We're going to try this passively now. Is that it? Where do you feel that? Yeah. Where do you feel that? Pretty much the entire leg. <laughs> okay. You feel it front and back? In the back? Yeah. All right. If you do that by yourself, do you feel anything in the front? No. Only in the back? Only in the back. Yep. Okay. All right. So raise this up here. Okay. Um, so we'll try um, one more time. We'll try this again. So go ahead and raise this up here. And w just in the hamstrings? Pretty much just, yeah, kind of like right in there. Okay. Just in the hamstrings? Mostly, yeah. Okay. Now put your hands behind your knees. Like uh, this? Yep, just like that. Pull your knees to your chest. Okay. Do you feel anything in the front of the hip? A little bit, yeah. Do you feel one more than the other? Um, not really. I maybe feel a little more pain in this one. That's, okay. That's kind of inside the hip, I guess. Deep inside? Yeah. Yeah, deep inside. And that was the hip that you're complaining of, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so, so, yeah, at this point, one of the biggest limiting factors to his toe touch does uh, appear to be hip, a hip mobility issue. There's something going on deep inside that hip joint, um, whether it's just the capsule or whether there's something going on with the, with the uh, joint itself. That is getting in the way of his ability to flex. All right. Okay. So, Mitch, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take out. We're going to take a closer look at your ankle mobility. Okay, and weight bearing. So, you're going to raise up the foot that is behind. Raise up the front of the foot that's in the back. Go ahead. All right. Good. And so you can see there, we're not getting anything underneath uh, that first uh, MTP joint. And then go ahead and pull this foot away. All right, and now raise up on the heel. Ra raise the heel up as high as you can. Okay, and also we seem to be limited there as well. So go ahead and switch feet, and we'll check out 
the other side. So yeah, very, very little ability to dorsiflex and weight bearing in this position. And then pull this foot back and away and raise that up high. Okay, good. And then switch and we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, good. Dorsiflex, good. About the same and then pull this foot back and away and raise up as high as you can. Okay, good. Yeah, and he, he really doesn't get much past 90 at all. I mean, we get a few degrees, but we're not getting very much at all. So if I come over to the other side here, does one side feel more tight? Um, I don't know. They look about the same to me. So we have, go ahead and stand up, yeah. We have a couple of big data points for you. Um, your thoracic mobility really isn't where it needs to be. We need a lot more extension. We need a lot more rotation through the thoracic spine. Hips, there's going to be a lot more with the hips, but for now, one of the biggest uh, pieces for you is just your ability to flex your hip all the way up to your knee, okay? And um, I, think, I don't think that's going to be too difficult to get past. Um, also, your ankle dorsiflexion, okay? You really don't have any. <laughs> um, so we get your ankle dorsiflexion back, and we get your, your hip flexion back. We uh, free up those hips. So you kind of talked before about how um, once, you, once you kind of distract the hip, once you get some mobility in that hip, it feels better for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, you're spot on with that, but there's some specific things we can do to help you with that. So get the ankles moving, get the hips moving, get the thoracic spine moving. You're probably going to find that the hip and the knee feel better. Uh, any questions okay. for me? Um, no, not, not, not right now. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll get some we'll get some interventions for you, but those those three things initially.